All right, JLT oil separator came in today. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and walk through this install. I've already removed the engine cover and set it off to the side. Pretty straightforward install. Um, you can see the gray tab on the end of the connection there. Uh, you just slide them over and pull out on the one that's already there. Uh, as it doesn't um, have a filter in place, it's just a solid black PVC line. Um, that is a crankcase ventilation. It ventilates back into your intake. Um, the oil separator here um, keeps the oil out of your intake. Therefore, uh, it raises your octane rating uh, for your fuel and air mixture that's coming into your intake. So let's go ahead and uh, try and walk through this install here. I'm going to go ahead and press the gray tab on this uh, intake side first. It's marked by a white arrow there. So I just pull the tab out and slide up. And it's, it's already off here. Let's see if I can't get it out of here one-handed. All right, that slides up. Same for this side by your um, oil cap. Gray tab, slide it over, pull up, and now that part is out. I'll just set it here right beside the JLT oil separator. As you can see, it's just a straight shot from your, um, crank, like your crankcase ventilation to your intake. Um, and we'll go ahead and put this uh, new one that um, will separate oil out of that um, crankcase pressure that's headed towards your intake. Um, so let's go ahead and install that. We'll go ahead and uh, do this side first. As you can see, I'm just placing it over the same fitting where the stock one went from, came from, and I just push down until I hear a click, and it just clicked, and come on over to the this side, and uh, it's right by your oil cap, and just press down until you hear a click, and that's it for the JLT oil separator install. All that's left now is to go ahead and put the uh, engine cover back in place. Thanks for watching.